Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain TV. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has issued three decree laws for this year. Decree Law 56 stipulates the division of the kingdom into four governments, namely capital Muharraq, northern and southern, with their centers and borders to be decided by the Prime Minister. Decree Law 57 amends some provisions of the Political Rights Praxis Law, and Decree Law 58 amends some provisions of the election system for members of the municipal councils. The Cabinet will take the necessary steps for these laws to be effective a day after their publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safariya Palace today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the United Kingdom's Minister of Defence, Mr. Michael Fallon, who is accompanied by the UK Chief of Staff, Sir Nick Hutton, on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the British Minister of Defence and his accompanying delegation and reviewed with him the strong historic relations linking the two countries in the various fields including military and defence coordination. This is in addition to the development witnessed in bilateral relations. His Majesty lauded the fine efforts exerted by the United Kingdom along with other countries of the world to bring peace, security and stability to the region. His Majesty the King also discussed with the British Minister the situation witnessed at regional and Arab level and means of preserving security and stability. For his part, the British Minister of Defence expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keen desire to further bolster relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet on honour of the British Minister of Defence and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today scores of citizens led by religious figures, intellectuals, media personnel and businessmen. His Royal Highness urged the citizens to participate effectively in the national decision-making process by assuming the responsibilities and contributing to serving the homeland. He added that this would help to thwart the efforts of those seeking to interfere in Bahrain's domestic affairs by sowing sedition, spreading hatred and fabricating lies to distort the kingdom's prosperous political, economic and human rights situation. The Prime Minister urged everyone to take the initiative and participate in every effort aimed at strengthening and accelerating the national march so as to meet the citizens' aspirations. He warned of the threats and continued plans of those seeking to subvert the kingdom's security and stability. He raised the need for greater caution and vigilance to rally behind the nation and unite in order to achieve the highest national interests. He stressed that while other countries are proud of their resources and rely on them, Bahrain relies on its people, who he said are the kingdom's asset for the future and its real wealth. He dismissed the targeting of the kingdom's security and stability as no more than desperate attempts to, dis to disrupt its efforts to continue the development march. His Royal Highness stressed that the uh, conspirators had failed to recognize the fact that the solid cohesion between the leadership and the people's cohesion combined with the government's unwavering resolve never to compromise on citizens' interests would inevitably render their heinous plans a failure. The Prime Minister said that the government's, uh, is, the government's focus is on maintaining security and stability besides following up implementation of national building and development plans, ignoring attempts to impede the national march. His Royal Highness called upon citizens to voice uh, their opinions on the services they receive and any other issues affecting their daily lives. He emphasized that all the citizens should understand that they are partners in the national decision-making process and therefore should be involved effectively in all national issues. He affirmed that development plans and housing projects are ongoing and assures citizens that they are the core of the development process in the kingdom. 
He noted that despite uh, the scarcity of resources, the government's resolve to provide decent uh, living for all citizens and to improve the quality of services offered to them would continue unabated. He pointed out that Bahrain boasts a unique and advanced uh, parliamentarian experience based on exemplary cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and mutual respect. He expressed confidence in the excellent awareness of the Bahraini people and their ability to enrich the parliamentary experience further. On regional and global issues, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that collective GCC and Arab efforts were needed to face constant and rapid developments more effectively. He stressed that integration was no longer an option but a necessity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy uh, Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace members of the royal family, senior state officials, members of the Shura, representatives and municipal councils, religious figures, key economic and social figures, as well as diplomats, academics and intellectuals. The audience expressed appreciation and pride in His Royal Highness's meeting with them, saying it reflects his keenness to further cement his interaction with the people in line with the approach adopted by His Majesty the King. They noted His Royal Highness's care in reinforcing the principles of patriotism, affirming the role of sustainable development in achieving further progress under the principles of His Majesty the King's reform project and the efforts of the government to achieve the best living standards for citizens.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized the inauguration ceremony of the Bahrain news agency, the BNA's new premises. The Deputy Prime Minister said he was delighted by the IAA's advancement and development, especially the new BNA premises and its various sections. He expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the Minister of State for Information Affairs and official government spokesperson in developing the technology and performance of national media. He praised the use of modern technology which meets the standards or needs of modern mass media as well as the BNA website which provides the speed and efficiency to deliver news to its visitors. He noted the importance of media since it reflects reality and presents facts. He called on all media personnel to benefit from modern technology and expertise to further develop media work and wished BNA staff further success in performing their duties in the field of media. The Deputy Premier was briefed on the development projects of the IAA, which correspond with the Kingdom's strategy of developing its media sector. The Minister of State for Information Affairs and the government's official spokesperson Samira bin Rajab, the Information Affairs Authority President Ali Ramehi, and several general directors attended the inauguration ceremony. The IAA President Mr. Ali Ramehi expressed his appreciation for the support provided by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, saying his visit encouraged employees to greater development in the media field. BNA's new building has been constructed and equipped to international national news agency standards in line with the role of the national media. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Khalifa al-Dahrani, sent a cable of congratulations to the Speaker of the Saudi Shura Council, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed al-Sheikh, marking the Saudi National Day. Mr. al-Dahrani praised the solid relations between the two countries, wishing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people further progress and development. He also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik al-Sheikh, wishing the people of Saudi Arabia every success and prosperity. On the sideline of the 69th session of the UN General Assembly meetings 2014 in New York, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, yesterday participated in the GCC Foreign Minister's Coordination Meeting. The meeting, which was held at the headquarters of the GCC Diplomatic Mission in New York, reviewed the ministerial level meetings which GCC countries intend to hold with other blocs on the sideline of assembly sessions. In addition, GCC foreign ministers reviewed and exchanged views on current regional and global developments. They welcomed the agreement reached in Yemen, hoping it would hold violence, promote legitimacy, and underpin the country's security and stability, as well as help it safely overcome this delicate moment in its history. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the reception ceremony held by the Indonesian ambassador to the kingdom, Mr. Shilman Arisman, marking Indonesia's National Day. The ceremony was held at the Gulf Hotel this evening and was attended by senior officials, diplomatic corps and a number of invitees. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the President, the government and the people of Indonesia 
Indonesia and his wishes for Indonesia and its people further progress and prosperity. He lauded the level of relations witnessed between Bahrain and Indonesia and the keen desire to further develop such relations. For his part, the Indonesian ambassador to the kingdom lauded the Bahrain-Indonesia relations, expressing keen desire to further enhance relations and cooperation between the two countries for the purpose of benefiting the two nations. His Majesty the King's Advisor for Diplomatic Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar, has commended the significant progress made by GCC member countries on the path of economic integration since the launch of the Gulf Cooperation Council in 1981. His comments came at today's opening of the Gulf Economic Integration Forum themed Challenges versus Solutions, organized by Dirasat in collaboration with the Gulf Research Center with the participation of Gulf officials, chambers, or chambers, representatives, academics and researchers to discuss means of accomplishing economic integration between member countries. Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD, organized a training workshop regarding the appeals process in election for representatives and municipal councils. The workshop aimed to raise the awareness of candidates and future candidates regarding the procedures of election appeals. The training course included discussions about the Bahraini electoral system, the integrity of the electoral process in Bahrain, and regulations governing election appeals.